We like to rest this meat a little bit, which means just take it off of the fire, let it have an opportunity to equilibrate a little bit by, uh, uh, without having it over the fire. To do that, we'll show you we're going to wrap it in some uh, paper that has, it's actually uh, a type of butcher paper that has no wax over it or on it and so doing that you do you cannot use one that has wax on it because if you do the wax obviously will melt onto the, the surface of the lean. But we want to do that and I usually use an ice chest or a cooler or something that really is not cool but it's an ice chest uh, to insulate or an insulated box to put those in. So I'm going to take the brisket and this one's really really soft over and we'll wrap that in this peach paper. Going to take an extra piece on this one because it's just so large. This either comes in pre cut pieces or on a roll. And so, if you need to uh, get a roll for larger briskets, it'll work for that. We're really not trying to just encase this, but just kind of hold a little bit of heat in the brisket itself. The, the uh, paper is obviously going to get really greasy. We know that. Uh, you, but you can, can put briskets in this and stack them in an ice chest and they'll hold for a number of hours at a very safe temperature. So we're going to let this one rest for a bit. Let those juices uh, really get solid in the in the lean itself or in the muscle itself so that when we cut this they don't run out and we lose all of that juiciness all the flavor that comes with that uh, when we start to cut these so I use just a small ice chest or insulated cooler obviously with no ice in it and take those Put them down in there, close the lid, and just leave them alone. Right, we're going to also, in, in our Smoky Mountain, we cooked a uh, pork shoulder or pork Boston butt. I put it in here about eight hours ago. <coughs> Excuse me. The temperature now is about 200 degrees, a little more. Uh, so there are plenty done. Shoulder, that uh, pork. Boston butt that we've we've uh, barbecued or that we've put on the Smoky Mountain. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it in peach paper as well. Hold it for a little while. Let it rest some. Probably this one got just a little bit overdone, but it still should do very well for anybody that's trying to do something where they are, especially. Uh, pulling the pork products and things. So it will do very well. It doesn't really matter if you use one piece, two pieces, three. I'm do, using a little bit more just to kind of hold everything in there together on this one. But as long as you've got it covered, it's in great shape. A lot of people use two to just crisscross it and make sure that they've got it covered well. We're gonna go ahead and put it into an ice chest or an uh, insulated box as well. And we'll let that rest. A lot of people recommend 30 minutes, an hour, hour and a half to let the meat rest to do a good job of just getting set up and getting ready to slice.